morning to you, Rico Dupre. How are you, my brother? Good morning, my friend. How are you? Thanks for having me. It What's is more? great to have you, as always. Thank you so much for taking the time on this Sunday morning. What is New York City like, uh, temperature-wise, this morning? Well, it's a beautiful day um, in the 70s. Uh, humidity is uh, quite low, and um, the, uh, there's no, no much uh, pollen or allergens in the air, so it's a beautiful day. I had to ask you that because I needed to get some semblance of normalcy before I get to the sad news, the bad news that confront uh, many uh, Haitian, ma many of your of, of your fellow nationals. U.S. and and Haitians are seeking the they say the U.S. is seeking to uh, repatriate 58,000 Haitians who moved to the United States after the 2010 earthquake uh, that they're looking to do this by suspending the temporary protected status introduced in the United States during the Obama regime. Make clear for our listeners first before we go into what this means, what is the TPS and what the provisions of it were? Well, a, a TPS is just what you said, a temporary protected status. This is uh, um, a, something that is afforded to uh, people from countries that have faced uh, a natural catastrophe. And uh, uh, your listeners, I'm sure, know about the uh, 2010 earthquake. Some 350,000 people died. Mm -hmm. and, and so Haiti was, uh, was the, uh, the, the, the type of country um, that this thing was, is, uh, is, is, is made for. So, it, it, so it's been said, um, but the, the, uh, what, they, what they're saying now, it's been seven years. Um, the people are not uh, in the streets anymore. The tents are no, no longer there, and Haiti is in, in, is recovering, uh, which is absolutely uh, incorrect because we know what happened with the uh, money that was collected for the earthquake. <laughs> uh, we know the uh, a clear example to to exact to tell you tell your listeners what I'm telling you. The, uh, the the Red Cross who collected uh, collected close to half a billion dollars for uh, earthquake. Uh, they only managed to to build six homes. I mean, mm, I did not mm, say that mm. as a report. It's, it's the the uh, the uh, major outlets in New York in in, in uh, media outlet that reported that they only built six six homes. So a lot of people made, made a lot of money. A lot of people can wish themselves at the expense of the victims of the earthquake. And and so uh, the, and even though the tents are not there, but the people were forced uh, to to vacate the camps, and and and, and so they were released in in, in in somewhere in the country. But that doesn't mean they have housing. That's one thing. But then again, we 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 have um, uh, uh, Hurricane Matthew um, that. Uh, we moved close to um, one sixth of the Haitian economy, mm -hmm. uh, two billion dollars of losses. Um, so, which pushed mm -hmm. the Haiti to a situation um, that it, it was right after the earthquake. But, uh, but all this is without mentioning the mother of all wrong, which is the importation of cholera in That's Haiti right. Right. Uh, by uh, by the UN. And 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 when I say by the UN, you know the the UN doesn't act without uh, its it, the uh, the uh, the the instruction of its most important uh, uh, contributor, which is the United States. Mm -hmm. And 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 that I may have much more to say about this as the interview progresses. Uh, there are two areas of this. Uh, the Department of Homeland Security Secretary uh, John Kelly seemed to speak uh, when you contrast that with what you just said. Speak uh, without authority when trying to justify the six month extension, which only goes until January 22nd next year. Prior to that, of course, the Obama administration, when they did renewals, there were increments of 18 months. It's very clear that the isolationist policies of Donald Trump is at work here, oblivious of the consequences to Haitian and the economy, because remittances are now down because of the fear of a lot of people. And then when you take 58,000 and you send them back, you again cutting off that, 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 that pipeline. It also, at the same time, uh, stays away from what you identified. There 9,200 people, uh, uh, you know, modestly uh, stated, were killed as a consequence of the cholera epidemic. And there are many, many um, families who have not yet recovered from this. So he, 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 when, when he talks in, term of, in, in terms of re removing this TPS as, uh, and talk about things returning to normal in Haiti, it is totally against the facts on the ground. Not only, not only that, but how do you tell 58,000 people that are working to just stop working? That's it. As of a certain day, stop working, stop feeding your kids, uh, stop taking care of your, your, your family, and, and so on. And to understand the, uh, the, 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 uh, 
uh, the harshness of this whole thing. Uh, under, you have to understand Haiti is not the only country that was granted TPS. Um, many, several countries in, the, in, in Latin America were granted TPS, and they've yes. been there for uh, they had been there 15 years before yes. TPS were granted to Haitian, and they are still here, mm. and that's good for them. Uh, so we, the Haitian have had TPS for only seven years, and, and clearly it, it, these Latin American countries were not in the state that Haiti was before the earthquake. That's one thing. But I, I, let me go back to a point that I made before. It's not that we're asking the United States uh, to be overly nice to us and so on. <laughs> we're asking them to agree to get to repair the wrong that you that you did. Uh, and, and let me t- explain what I mean. Um, the Jonathan Katz, one of the most uh, respected journalists in the United States, he was the first one who uh, who uncovered uh, what the UN did in Haiti. Mm-hmm. Uh, he started to write about it, and then he, uh, he, uh, hell can uh, he, he, So he he he, he, uh, he started this whole color thing, and he documented. And the UN has not challenged him. Uh, the CDC has not challenged him. That while the, U- the UN the the, the UN was uh, it, it lying to everybody, saying that well, there is no evidence that the spread of cholera came from uh, from from the Pal, and and mm-hmm. he's saying that the CDC had clear scientific evidence that that's where they came from. So they kept their mouth shut. They didn't say anything. <laughs> that one thing. The second thing is the general, the second general of the UN, Ben Kimon was tired of lying to the rest of the world <laughs> in saying that uh, we did not bring the cholera. Early on, and that was documented by Jonathan Katz, that he wanted to complain. Guess who told him, no, you cannot do this? The United States. So had the Ben Ki-moon accepted responsibility for cholera years ago, uh, Haiti's water would have been cleaned by now. Mm-hmm. And who knows, probably some Haitians would not have the need to, to, to come here. So the U.S. was the one telling, no, you cannot do that. So in fact, we don't really come coming here asking the United States to be nice to us. We're asking, you are complicit in what happened in the color epidemic. That is documented in a latest book by the most author, uh, uh, the most important authority on this color thing, which is Jonathan Katz. There has been a history of policies against Haiti that are in question, uh, but I'm going to uh, channel Joe Biden at this stage in the Iraq war. He said, if you break it, you own it. And in the case That's here, exactly what it is. Mm-hmm, in the case here, the UN peacekeepers came in at behest of the United Nations, as biggest contributor, as you said, got in there, it resulted in 770,000 people being affected with cholera, and as much as 9,200 deaths. And uh, what you're saying is that you ask for them to face up to that. On Wednesday last week, the U.S. Homeland uh, Security flew to Haiti for a 90-minute meeting with the president of Haiti on the issue of this mass repatriation and other issues. Did the president make any comment after that? Could you give us some insight at all, if you were privy to it, as to what the discussions were? Well, that's the that's the, the, the people are asking the, the president, the, the, the so-called president, because I, I don't call them president, because they were in, it, it, it's, it's an important president placed there by the Clinton Empire. Uh, and again, that's part of what the, the United States has been doing, preventing the, 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 the will of the people to be expressed in, cho- in choosing the elected leaders. Marty Lee and, and this guy who is uh, the protege of Marty Lee were imposed by the United States for their own needs. So, so, uh, so uh, in fact, what did John Kelly said? He said that these six months ban were arrived at in consultation uh, with, with the Haitian authorities. Mm. So, and, and again, one of the pressure we, we, we're making on this thing is to come clean. To, we need to know what did you tell this thing? Because this whole, <laughs> this whole idea that Haiti is recovering uh, is, is a myth. So, uh, so he even mentioned that the Haitian national palace is being rebuilt. What, what, what on earth does have to do with anything? So maybe this uh, 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 Ill- Ill- illegitimate president is boasting that they we're building the national palace, and, and the United States is using that as evidence of that Haiti is 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 coming back. Um, uh, uh, remember, this is the same um, uh, uh, governments uh, that did nothing when the uh, the Dominican Republic denationalized some. 250,000 Haitians, yes. I mean, not Haitians, hmm. Dominicans of Haitian origins. Uh, our, so, our, our, our presidents, you know, w- which were employed by the Clintons, uh, n- never never did anything. So, so in fact, they, were, they, were, they said, well, okay, we'll, 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 we'll accept them with open arms. Who knows? That's probably what these guys are saying, but they don't really care about um, uh, the, uh, the, the plight of the poor. So we need to know what, what is happening, what is Kelly discussing with uh, Jovenel Moïse, and what's going on, and so far, he hasn't said anything at all about the discussions. 
there is uh, no way I can understand that President Moise would remain uh, silent when you put the horse before the cart, which is exactly what the Homeland Security um, uh, Secretary did. He, he went on to tell people, go get your documents. He told you to attain your travel documents because your ultimate departure is imminent. And then he goes to have discussion with the president. That is the horse, the cart before the horse. Well, uh, let me tell you one thing, because I know time, we, we're running out, out, out of time. Let me say one, one thing. Okay, it's good for them to, okay, let them think about de deporting people. But uh, what they did to the Haitians as they, deport, as they deported them from the DR will not happen to the Haitians that are here. Because mm. the Haitians that are here, they are working. And when you work, <laughs> and they, 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 they collect uh, a, a money from your checks, and some of this money goes into um, the, the Medicaid funds, into the disability <laughs> funds. <laughs> we're talking about $2,000. Per, per individual working, and which is doubled uh, uh, into, uh, 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 as, uh, as far as the contribution of the employer is. We're talking about $4,000 per person. So then we have to, uh, uh, all this money is going to have to, uh, uh, to, to be returned to these people. So this is, this is no joke. And the management of this thing is going to be so huge, so big, and I don't even see um, uh, how you do that. But uh, and let me tell you, so far we have had 100 members of, of Congress. We've had, uh, including some Republican senators, and we've had uh, close to uh, 500 church leaders. And we, uh, we've had editorial from uh, 10 of the most important newspapers and media outlets in, in the United States telling this guy, no, you can't do this. You cannot do this. So, um, um, uh, so I, I can even imagine a phantom the idea of, of, of the U.S. doing basically what the Republican, in my view, a woke state, uh, 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 did to the Dominicans of Haitian origin. They're not even Haitians, for the most part. At the, so, end, um, at, at the end of the day, this may end up in court. It may even go there. But I want to, you, you mentioned something twice that I think is important that I grab a minute from you for you to clarify. You mentioned the DR and the treatment of Haitians. That's when they removed their nationality, took it away from them, said you don't belong here, get out. Explain to our listeners exactly what the Dominicans Dominican Republic reference you made to uh, that situation as it relates to Haitians. Do that for me quickly, my brother. Oh, a few years ago, what the DR decided that uh, they don't like um, Haitians and, and people of, of, of color there, even though the Dominican Republic is essentially a black country, they decided that uh, they would go back as far as 29 years uh, to, um, to, uh, to legalize, to make it normal to, to question these people's citizenship. We're talking about people that were born, we're talking about people that were born here, essentially Dominicans, but they're black. So they're claiming that they're Haitians. They're saying that, well, they changed the Constitution just to, to to, to give um, uh, them the authority to to deport these people to, to Haiti, and that's what they, they, that's what's been happening uh, at this point. Uh, it is argued, it is reported that about um, seventy five to one hundred thousand Dominicans of Haitian origins, in violation of the Haitian con uh, of the Dominican constitution, mm -hmm. in violation of all norms of international law, they have been deported to to uh, to, uh, to Haiti, and now at the frontier near the frontier of uh, between the, the DR and Haiti. You have a bunch of people in a, in a sort of no man's land. They, they, I mean, they, they're not Haitians. They were not born there. And they are said that they're not mm -hmm. uh, uh, Dominicans. Uh, and all these things happen mm -hmm. with the United States not saying anything. So the United States goes to the, to the confines, to the end of the world, to find human rights abuses and violations. And right there, uh, um, uh, 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 Haitians are being not Haitians. Dominicans of, 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 uh, that are black uh, are being denied uh, the, the rights to nationality, and the United States has not said anything. In, 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 in a way, a lot of Haitians believe that what happened in the DR was really a construction, something that was being constructed to find a rationale for the deportations. Um, of, of the Haitians. That, is using this emotional. that is precisely why I had you go back to that DR situation because you take 100,000 people and make them stateless and you show that your disregard can be overlooked by the rest of the world. Uh, that could be one of the motivations behind uh, already crazy policy that says um, immigrants are dangerous people. One that say that um, we can just take people, 58,000 of them, give them temporary protection status, take it away, and then tell them, go back home. That's the end of that. Um, Rico, Rico Dupre, my brother, as always, I will keep touching base with you from time to time. Any demonstrations pa are planned uh, to protest this? I mean, you speak of a, a hundred thousand oh, yeah. representatives they, they, they and so They will on. be coming, but before then, uh, but not only demonstration, but there will also some serious uh, hmm. legal actions uh, being taken, because there is something called 
uh, international humanitarian law, and mm. that is being v violated. Uh, and th there's also maybe a violation of the due process clause of the United of the of the, of the, of the U.S. constitutions. So all these things are being looked at, and these things may go all the way to the Supreme Court. My brother, I'm going to be looking at that with some degree of uh, uh, some some light of, of encouragement because it, even in Europe right now, as far as it, de uh, it deals with refugees and so on, nobody seems to be paying attention to international agreements or international norms anymore. Absolutely not. Rika Dupre, PD of uh, Radio Soleil in New York City, representing the Haitian diaspora. My brother, thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. Thank you for the information. Same to you, my friend. Thanks I so thank much. you. Take care now.